sigh of relief for a woman in Canajahari tonight as police arrest two men accused of stealing 21 goats from her farm. The owner is relieved, of course, that the suspects are behind bars tonight, but her animals still have a long recovery ahead from their ordeal. Anna Myler has tonight's top story from the newsroom. Good evening, Anna. Good evening, Jim. Good evening, Jessica. Police tell me the 21 goats taken from Love Knot Farm are the latest in a long history of larcenies for the Fort Plain man accused of stealing them. A Montgomery County Sheriff says 26-year-old Michael Sumner was the mastermind behind stealing 21 goats from Lovenaugh Farm in Canajahari, allegedly yanking them over their fences in the middle of the night. They also arrested 21-year-old Brandon Hume, who authorities say helped Sumner load the goats into a truck and haul them away, later selling them on Craigslist. The owner of the show, Goats, is grateful people are being held accountable. I was very thankful. I have faith in the justice system and I really hope it's swift and it keeps these people out of the population for a while so they can't do this to someone else. Because the goats returned home Wednesday night thanks to the man who purchased them from Sumner on Craigslist for $1,400. He realized they were stolen and called the owner, Mary Grace Hogue, to let her know he had them. While the animals are safe, many are recovering from leg injuries, bruising, and one even has head trauma, resulting in veterinarian bills Mary Grace can't afford. I have three kids. Um, you know, I don't really have, there's not a lot of extra money kicking around. And on a farm, you hardly, you know, it doesn't happen very often that you have lots of extra money. So, yeah, it's, it, it affects us. The two men from Fort Plain are charged with brand larceny, criminal mischief, and trespassing. Both are being held at the Montgomery County Correctional Facility in lieu of bail. But Mary Grace says it will take time to regain peace of mind. I'm still going to be looking over my shoulder, scanning the fields, because it's not something that's going to come back right away, you know, because... Someone obviously was here watching, and it's not, the, the safe feeling is not going to come back right away. There is a fund set up to help Mary Grace Hogue pay her veterinarian bills. You can find a link on WNYT.com. Reporting live in the newsroom, Anna Myler, News Channel 13. Back to you, Jim. Thanks, Anna.